Hey everyone, happy Saturday. I'm Sean. Welcome to Transpros TV. Um, today I will be talking about binding and packing. First of all, I bind. I don't pack usually anymore. Um, I bind using a Tea Kingdom binder. There's a... I made a review of it on this channel and that should be around in one of the playlists for binder reviews so you can check that out. It works really well for me. I used to bind with an Underworks tri-top um, for two years before I got the Tea Kingdom binder earlier in the fall um, 2012. Now I'm um, with binding. I have to say it's important that you get an actual binder and not use ace bandages because ace bandages could cause a lot of damage. Um, it's really a last resort kind of thing using ace bandages. Um, you should really avoid it. It's no good. I used to bind with ace bandages a lot when I first came out and because I didn't have any um, other materials to use other than sports bras and like I was really desperate to have like a flat chest so I used these bandages and um, it really really constricts your breathing using ace bandages like it's bad just don't use it and if you are binding properly, make sure you're not binding for more than like 8 hours a day or something like that. Make sure you take a break. It's good to let yourself breathe and let your body breathe. I mean, you should totally give your lungs and ribs a rest after 8 hours. Um, I think that's really all I have to say for binding. As far as I'm concerned, you just have to make sure you're doing it doing it properly and be careful with how long you are binding and make sure you're breathing. Breathe. Breathing is good for you. Um as for packing, I used to pack from time to time like during high school because I felt like people actually looked there, down there. Um, I would pack with like socks. I didn't have any um, prosthetics or STPs or anything like that, so I used socks to give me that like manly bulge look. And I mean, it didn't really work too much. It looked like I have a bo I had a boner. <laughs> Because I always wore skinny jeans. I still wear skinny jeans. And then, like, it came to the point where I was like, oh, screw this, I don't need to pack. Um, but yeah, uh, I know some people are uncomfortable with down there and they feel the need to create that look. Um, but that's like total personal preference, I suppose. Um, other than that, I really haven't had any other experience with um, STPs or sexual prosthetics or anything down there. Um, STPs or stand to pee products, I do not use those because in the bathroom I just go in the stall, lock, sit down, do my business. And as for sexual prosthetics, nope. Never use those. Never have. Not sure if I will. But that's what I have to say about binding, packing, STPs, and sexual prosthetics. So if you have any other comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, anger, or sadness, comment down below. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys.